Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Mainframe Defenders. It is by Old Byte Apps and Mega Nine Pixel, and it released on February twenty fifth, twenty twenty. I've had this game for a little while, and I've been waiting till it's closer to release to actually cover it. So we're going to hop in for the very first time. We're going to play through the tutorial, which I don't think is going to be super long. And I think I said like the tutorial, the tutorial, and it's going to teach us how to play. And we're going to learn how to play. Then we're going to hop in and begin the game fresh. Let's go into the tutorial and see what's up. Welcome to Mainframe Defenders. This tutorial will teach you a few basic aspects of the game. You can move the camera by using the W, A, S, and D, or WASD keys. By moving the mouse to the edge of the screen, or by dragging the mouse with, uh, or sorry, dragging the map with the right mouse button. Cool. Uh, this is your squad. It contains up to four units. If these units are destroyed, your mission will fail. We have the Paladin A and the Atlas B. This is the directives panel. Fulfill the directives to complete the mission. Destroy all enemy units for our left. Info: Opponent squad will awaken soon. One turn left. Matter will degrade in five turns. I don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out as we go. Click on this unit. It's the Paladin A, okay? This is the unit's hull. If hull value reaches zero, the unit is destroyed and unavailable for the rest of the mission and becomes damaged. Damaged units only have 50% hull until repaired. This is the unit's AP, or action points. They are spent on using weapons and other items. Cool. This is the unit's armor. Any damage dealt to this unit is reduced by the armor value. Nice. And then finally, th oh, I'm sure there's more. This is the heat, uh, the unit's heat item usage increases heat. If the heat value is above maximum, the unit will start to overheat and suffer damage. The unit loses 10 heat each turn and an additional 10 heat if it did not spend any AP. So it just sits there and chills. All right, cool. These are the unit's items. Items can be used for active effects and passive bonuses. Okay. Move the unit here. Press the left mouse button on the highlighted tile. Okay, right there. Ooh, that's a loud noise. All right. Cool, though. I like it. This is the unit's weapon. Click here or press 1 to use it. Tiles and range will be highlighted in red. Let's press 1. Man, really loud noises. I might have to adjust that as we go, but we'll see. Click on the unit to attack. Makes sense. We're going to be fighting a spider. He's only got a hull of nine. Okay, we're going to do... 25 to 28 damage. It's only got nine. Uh, we should be able to obliterate it. It's got no armor. This will kill it for sure. Yep, and it did. And now we can end our turn. Now, destroy all enemies. Okay, oh... Things rolled out on us. Oh, they are super upset with us. All right. Let's get you to come over here. Firing range. Pretty decent, actually. All right, I'm going to move here. Uh, we got 40 with the Atlas. Um, and, oh, we do not do a lot of damage to this guy. Or with this guy, I should say. Only 5 to 7 damage. It's a bit weak, honestly. Firing range. Alright, we'll move over here and take that shot. How much AP do we have? We only have two, so basically like a move. Oh, we had a couple of AP with this guy. Can we move again? Or is it only one move per? Okay. Alright. I should have realized that I could have fired a few times there and I didn't. It's my bad. They're really after my, uh, my paladin. They do not like him. All right, so I say we launch a single attack there, followed up with another solitary attack there, and then we will not be able to kill him with this, unfortunately. But he's real close. He's only got two HP left. And then our boy over here... Just within firing range. I like how it's firing range. It's a broadsword. It's cool though. What is bio steel for? Four plus four second move range. Oh, 
plus eight max hull. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, that must be a uh, utility. So that's probably uh, passive abilities, my guess. Is there a way to end the turn? I'm just curious. I mean, other than clicking, apparently not. Not at least not with any of the keys that I tried. Oh, did something spawn back in there? What was that? I think our boy can take care of both of these. He's gonna take care of this guy. And he's gonna take care of that guy, and our mission is complete. Oh, right, well, that was interesting. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. There is a tremendous amount here. Hmm. Not real sure where to begin. Uh, looks like these are all the various different missions that we can do. Maybe. Oh, oh, it says right. I, I didn't even. I didn't even catch that there was a little pop up here. This is. This is list. This is. This is a list of available missions. Missions can have different types, difficulty, and rewards. Click the squad button to enter the squad menu. This is the squad panel. Click on this unit to continue. Sup Paladin A? This is a unit's upgrades. Units, uh, unit can be upgraded using matter to receive unique bonuses. Okay. And this is the unit's item panel. To remove an item, drag it to the squad items panel to the right. Okay. This is the unit's matter. Matter is spent on creating new items and upgrading units. Huh. Okay, matter. All right, I got it. This is the item fabricator panel. It contains items you can create by spending matter. Interesting. Press the produce button to create this item. A flux cannon, huh? All right. Uh, this is the squad's item panel. It contains items available to your squad. You can equip items by dragging them to the unit item panel. Alright, congratulations. I have now completed the tutorial. Now try starting a new game. Oh, well that was cool. Alright, so there are actually quite a few settings here, which I, I kind of like. I'm going to turn and like set the sound down a little bit more. Um... The resolution I actually had up higher. I don't know why it switched down to this. I had it here. Let's see if it actually changes at all. If it doesn't, that's cool. No, it did change. Oh, well, I don't know why the... Uh, I don't know why it didn't switch last time I did that. Anyway, uh, all sorts of different effects here. You got low bloom, you got no bloom, medium. It just basically shows like light coming around the edges. Uh, various different looks to the game if you want to do it. I thought this was kind of a cool effect That's why I wanted to show it to you guys So that's like with high bloom and no like old-school effects on it uh, We can go with no bloom. So it looks just real real We'll say pain uh, plain or basic light bloom. I actually like no bloom a little bit better um, Then you have all sorts of stuff CRT noiseless is just basically well, yeah, a little a little old school then you have old VHS looking looking a little bit raggedy. S video, a little bit more defined, but a little bit blurrier maybe. Mainframe CRT, that's not bad. And then no effect. Um, I think I'll try probably running with the CRT noiseless. This is basically how it started us off. I played around with some of these things. So eh, again, kind of neat, kind of neat. All right, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna start up our new game. And we're going to begin click on a unit to see details research menu game difficulty easy I... should I be concerned that it starts us at easy we'll go with normal I, it could be a mistake all right what do we what do we know about these things it has a ray gun that's three AP I do, do we know how many AP how much AP the unit itself has I'm just looking at the various different upgrades. Yeah, I don't know much about the actual thing. If it if it only has two AP, having a ray gun that uses three seems to be counterproductive. Then we have the Briga the Brigandine. It's got an auto cannon that's nine by or sorry eight to nine times three two AP armor plating. I kind of like that one. We have the mechanic needle two to four. 
But it's got a repair kit. Okay, interesting. A paladin we're familiar with. Got a big old weight in and bruise fools. The acid cannon ignores armor and applies corrosive damage, dealing damage over time. Um, Alright, since we're bringing four people along, I guess, I think we're going to start with the paladin. I think I'm going to bring the brigandine along. Um, yeah, I guess the Atlas and the Mechanic. I kind of want the Viper, but we're, we're going we're gonna to leave the Viper. We have no research points. But it looks like there are things to research eventually once we have the points, which is cool. We're going to start the game, I guess. And hope for the best. Atlas build, CPU, RAM, loading Hive OS, Microlink Dynamics. Warning, Hive OS recovered after critical failure. Establishing a Gem Gemini network connection. Network, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's uh, establishing Medusa network connection. Okay, cool. I like it. Protect mainframe. Test Hive response. Those are the directives. All right, and here we are on our mission thing. Okay, cool. We can't scroll through with the mouse. All right, so we have hard missions, we have normal missions, and then we have the easy missions. Obviously, probably smartest to start with the easier missions first. We have an acid suppress suppressor, or suppression weapon, if you will. It applies 18 corrosion upon dealing damage. Uh, last indefinitely deals one damage per stack each turn. Applies five armor breach upon dealing damage. So basically, you can hit somebody with that. It lowers their armor after one turn, and it applies damage after one turn. Not necessarily the greatest thing we can have, but you know what? I'm, you know, I'm here for it. Let, let's go. We'll start with this one. I have no idea how good, bad, or indifferent this is going to be, but we're going to give it a shot. Our squad's here. We have 150 matter. I'm just curious, 110, 170, uh, plus three armor. You know what, since he's walking into people and he's doing terrible bad things to people, I think I'm gonna actually upgrade him. I'm okay with that. Get him a little bit more armor to go in and just do stuff. Yeah, no, let's, let's get that done. All right, let's go do our first mission for realsies, folks. Okay. So here we are, opponent's squad is teleporting. Oh, looks like this might be a little bit larger than uh, expected. Can I click over here to get people? Oh, I totally can. I am all about that. All right, looks like there's probably a bad guy over there. All right, looks like we only have two AP. We've used both, so he's done. Are you the medic or the mechanic? You are. One AP... You know what? I think it's just going to stay there. It's probably two AP anyway. Scoot over there. That's one of our PPU shooty people. And then our Atlas is going to waddle his way on down. Okay. I think that's, that's good. Let's see what happens. It looks like there is definitely a bad guy in this room. I'm going to move the Atlas in. See what's up. Let me go ahead and whip out the broadsword and chuck it at our boy. Take him down. Oh, I didn't take him out. Okay, well that was unexpected, honestly. What's the range of this thing? Range is six. I should be able to hit from here. I cannot hit from there. Or maybe I could, but I actually can't due to other constraints. What is that thing? Spider. I don't know if the thing's going to roll out on us. This might go really poorly. You can see there's quite a few uh, bad guys in this area. I, I don't know what that thing is. A repair station. Oh, that's interesting. Minor damage done. 
move here and a little bit of broadsword action. Move there. Let's get some auto cannon going. How much did it do? Wait, it did zero. Oh, he's got ten armor. Oh, I did not read that. Well, that's gonna potentially be a problem. path. Okay, that's that's fine. We'll move in here and let's see what we got. The ray gun should be enough to kill this guy. Potentially. Well, it's gonna take... We're only gonna do, what, 8 to 12 damage? So it won't. Like, we might be able to kill this guy. We were able to kill him, which is nice. Alright, we'll scoot away and I guess we'll end our turn. Got to check out armor. Oh, I figured our, our mechanic would uh, feel bad there. Definitely did. They're shooting at us through walls now? Is that what's going on? Hmm. Can I undo that? Why can't I target that? Can I still attack after moving a second? I guess I can. Alright, well, they took down the spider. Uh, you're fine, I suppose. I'm just curious to see if this does any damage. It did a little bit of internal damage, I guess. Probably fine. We're gonna get the mechanic to come over here. And honestly, I should have probably focused on attacking this guy. But we took him down, so it's all good. Alright, so one room is cleared, essentially. Did he break through the wall? I feel like he broke through the wall. That's kind of interesting. How does this work? Pairs 8 hull to a player's unit, removes all status effects, works on a random player unit within 3, has 2 charges. Alright, so that should be fine. A little ray gun action there. Some auto cannon, your armor plating is 8. So I might do a little tiny bit of damage. These guys are strong, man. He had to two damage to these guys. That's not that's not great. I'm trying to lay into you a little bit. Took some some damage onto the Praetorian, but at what cost? Oh, he slapped the Atlas. So I think he did. Did did he actually do any? No, to the Brigandine. Plus two corrosion. This armor is degrading now, I guess. Alright, well, that guy's done. So he should have been done. I guess not. Alright, there we go. A little rat tap bang going on. What is this stuff? I guess the room is kind of clear. And our mechanic is feeling good again. If anybody gets real hurt, we can always send them back up into that other room. I'm okay with that. One, two movement, one, and two movement. Alright, gotcha. Something going on up here. Oh, that's a fabricator, right? So, what do you know about that? It manufactures equipment. It fabricates a brute every three turns. Alright, so we have to go shut that thing down. 
The Brute has no armor and 35 HP, so... Little bit of nasty. Um, that doesn't seem to really be anything. So we're going to have to come back up here and prepare ourselves. Here, let's move here, let's move you here. Land our turn. So fabricators do exactly what you would expect them to do. They actually go and they maneuver and do things. Did the brigandine get hit by anything? I don't think so. Just the corrosion. Chop you up a bit there. A little auto cannon coming at you, old booty. There it is. Down you go. Well, so far I like it. I mean, like I said, it looks kind of minimalist, but it's good. The only thing I wish is that we could zoom in just a little bit more, just a little bit, like just a, just a, just a little bit, and that that would make me really happy. But other than that, I I don't really have any complaints about this so far. deals two damage each turn, but it's not actually dealing damage each turn. I guess because it's trying to do damage to the hull, but it can't get through the armor? So I guess that's good. Alright, we did that. I am fairly certain that I do have two movements. I say I am fairly certain that I am not gonna be able to shoot that guy because line of sight issues. Okay, I think everybody's done everything they can do. We're gonna have to take it on the chin here a little bit. Not sure what kind of damage the brute's gonna bring. Well, whatever it was, it wasn't much. All right. Rat tap bang, down he goes. Getting a little bit closer. A little closer. Taking down the fabricator, or at least starting to take down the fabricator. Can't quite reach. Alright, that's cool. I don't think we need to go in there unless we decide we're going to break open a wall, which is exactly what I'm going to do once I have the opportunity. Oh! Oh, it's like that. Okay, I expected there to be a little bit more to it than like a single solitary shot. But I'm, I'm cool with that. Alright, a brute has been birthed. I think we'll focus on the brute first. I think I'm gonna move there. Take down the brute. There's a ray gun. And we took down the fabricate. Oh, that was it. The mission's complete. I should have checked my directives a little bit more. Alright, well, that's cool. We, we did okay. Do we get... So we got some matter. We got the acid suppressor. Okay. I'll go back with that. And it looks like there's a berserk cannon. Or berserker cannon. Oracle module. So a whole bunch of different stuff. A lot of uh, things. There's tier one. There's apparently eight tier pro uh, progress that we can go through. I like the kind of the matrix matrix screen, if you will. Enemy units cannot be attacked while being teleported. Interesting. And repel the assault, eliminate the infected node. So, a few different mission types. So far, uh, I like what I see. I want to play more. I want to get a little bit more into it. But I think we're gonna break out the first episode right here right now. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer or publisher, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. As I have encouraged you guys a lot lately, please, if you're not going to grab the game right away and you find it interesting, please add it to your wish list so you remember it and you come back to it and you check it out later. And again, maybe grab it on sale, maybe grab it just when you get paid, whatever the case is, wish list it guys and gals. It helps tremendously for the developers and that's pretty much it, guys and gals. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I'll see you later.